It seems like it's been 40 weeks since you got 40 winks. Your back pain, unbearable. Tossing, turning, trying to find that pain-free position. And that's the moment you realize you can't spend another waking moment putting off treatment. The Joint and Spine Center is Cincinnati's leading destination for spine care with a ton of surgical and non-surgical treatments for back pain. So when a moment has the power to change the rest of your life, go to the one place with the power to change it for the better, the Christ Hospital Health Network. This changes everything. The Pound This Podcast is brought to you by the Christ Hospital Health Network. This is the Pound This Podcast, episode 550, Shay's Weight Loss Journey Weekly Updates. I want to lose weight, but I don't know how to get started. What should I meal prep every week? How do I get those sweet booty gains? Inspiration for your healthy lifestyle. The Pound This Podcast with Amanda Valentine. Thank you so much for listening to The Pound This Podcast. I'm Amanda Valentine. Shay's back. What's up? Hey, girl. What's have you, up? Have you planned your second skydive yet? No, but I'm already itching to do it again. Oh my God. So. I'm so excited for you. I, I know that we talked about this last week, but I just think that like I, I've been looking into, I mean, cause I've spent another week of like not feeling good. So it's just been me um, obsessively on my phone, like searching like bucket list things of like, what, what kind of crazy things can I do when the uh. Rona's gone? And so like, I'm like the skydiving thing comes up on every single bucket list thing. I'm like, I love that you got to go skydiving after like you know hitting some you know weight loss goals and you just went went for it and jumped out of a plane I'm like oh my god Shannon slash Shay did that what a (laughs) badass (laughs) everyone's like were you afraid and I'm like nah I was just hyped like we were jumping out I laughed the whole time (laughs) that's so awesome did you got a video and everything from it too didn't you sure did yeah that's awesome like, I know, I know people talk about fun. those, like, non-scale victories of, like, fitting in the, the airplane um, seatbelt and all that stuff, which I think is awesome. But I think jumping out of a plane is a pretty damn good non-scale victory. I know. Yeah. And it, it was, it just felt good to be able to do something I couldn't do before. So it's awesome. So how's this week been going for you? Um, It's been a better week. I've felt a little more, like, in control of my emotions and able to like actually reason with myself when I want to like binge or anything like that. So working through a lot of that crap in therapy. (laughs) So, well, dude, like um, mental health is so crazy for everybody right now. Like I just know mm -hmm. that I've gotten emails from several people this week and they're just kind of like, man, like it feels like it's catching up to a lot of us where it's just, it's just a, a rough place to be in and trying to be like positive and motivating through it can be tough. Yeah, it is really hard. So, cause it feels like we're living in some crazy world and it's never going to go back to normal. Right? So, well, well, that's so important to do. Just like have the resources and like your you know support system. Like I know that you have a therapist and everything of just like, it's important to have somebody to like talk th- through those things with, because I think ignoring them and like, kind of like, pushing them back and locking them up of like, no, I don't want to deal with this right now. Only happy thoughts can only lead to disaster. Yeah. I just end up spiraling if I do that. So (laughs) I like end up in a bad place really quickly. So, so how have your workouts been? I know that we've talked about that. You're still going to see Josh and you're still going to Planet fitness. Like, well, how have your fitness goals changed at all? Or or are you even changing at all? Or is it just like, just get it in? Um, my fitness goals haven't changed a lot. I'm just like making sure that I do that, not just for my physical health, but also for my mental health. Cause I feel like a totally different person, like when I go and work out. Um, so just making sure that I stay consistent with that has been important. So I'm excited for it to be a little less hot so that I can start walking outside again. Cause that's one thing when it's cooler out, I, I would go for a walk every day, but it's too damn hot right now. So yeah. I will say though, at the current time of recording this, that the next few days are supposed to be cooler here in Cincinnati. I know I'm already, I was looking at like the whole next week is supposed to be nice, but it's supposed to rain almost every day. So dude, I'd rather personal preference. I'd rather like put on a poncho and walk in the rain uh-huh. and be walking drenched in my own sweat. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I was like, whatever, forget the poncho. I'll just like, be cooled off in the rain yeah be like rocky dude when when i was able to run before i had janky knee problems like i love running in the rain like it just makes you feel like such a badass (laughs) 
Oh, like, that's awesome. Other than the blisters on the feet, but like, oh yeah, I have a, I dig running in the rain. It always like made me feel like I was in a movie or something. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I'll just walk in the rain every day this next week. There you go. So it just makes it much easier to like get my steps in. So. Cause I'd much rather go walk outside than go walk on the treadmill. So yeah, same. I'm the same way of like, I'd so much rather be outside and it's, it's tough. Like, you know, when you're in a climate, I know not everybody is like in, in like Cincinnati or the Midwest where the humidity is just painful or the South. Like it's, I got really spoiled for a long time living in Colorado and Oregon where I could in the I mean even in Oregon it'd be 115 degrees outside and I'd still go for a walk because it wasn't humid and it didn't feel that bad it actually just kind of felt like um like almost like sort of like dry sauna vibes (laughs) like it was just like (laughs) felt good so yeah I got so spoiled doing that even though I grew up in the Midwest and coming back to the humidity where I'm like oh god I just I just kind of want to like lay in front of an air conditioner all day I know. I do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's like, I, I don't know how I could manage living in the South um, where it's kind of like that year round. I, for me personally, I would, I would really struggle with that. Yeah, I could not do that. So I just get grumpier when it's hot out. So right. well, it'll if be- I had a, if I had a house, I'd just buy like some at home, like a bike and a treadmill and stuff. But my poor neighbors in my apartment would hate me if I was like walking on a treadmill all well, day. Well, dude, you can come over here and use mine if you want. I got I know, a bike I'm... and a treadmill. Oh, shoot. <laughs> My treadmill does not have incline though. I, I went and cheaped out and I got like the $200 treadmill. So it doesn't have, have an incline on it, but whatever. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did want to ask you because I know at the time of us recording this, it, it, it's going to go into effect Saturday for plan of fitness to require masks masks while working out so what are your vibes with that like are you cool with working out with a mask on I'm gonna try it um and see how it goes I don't do any like I don't run I feel like running would be harder um I think things like the elliptical or the stair climber would be harder but if I'm just walking on the treadmill I think it will be okay as long as it's it is easier to wear the mask like if you um they have the big fans at Planet Fitness. Mm-hmm. So if you're under one of the fans, it's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try it and just see what happens. But I don't know if I'm going to hate it. So because I don't know how people are going to do really intense workouts with one on. Yeah, so. like I think that if you're just doing some weightlifting, I wouldn't feel like it was bad. But doing some cardio, like the stair yeah. machine with a mask on seems like pure hell. <laughs> well, and I don't really understand because like, obviously you're going to be sweating and then it's not good for the mask to get wet. So it's kind of like, I just don't really understand logically how it's all going to work. So, cause yeah. I sweat a lot. So yeah, I sweat I just, with just wearing a mask in general. Right. I mean, at work, like when I take my mask off, my face is all sweaty cause it's hot. Um, so there's no way that me working out with one, I'm not going to get really sweaty. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. And it'll be interesting to see how many people actually keep their mask on while they're on their machine. Yeah. I'm really curious to see how it shakes out just to see, because I mean, I hate to see people give up a gym membership, even though Mm -hmm. I gave up my, my planet fitness membership through COVID um, just because I didn't use it as much as I should have anyway, um, because I was only using it for cardio. And that's why i bought like this, you know, used spin bike for my house. I'm like, well, I'm like, I'd rather get the cardio at my house than spend the money on that, that I would have spent on Planet Fitness. But I, I, so like, I'm torn because I'm like, I, it just sucks that I don't want people to give up their exercise and fitness because of that. But it's like, also you have to worry about safety. And so I'm curious to say, to see not even the next month, I guess for the rest of the year, of how many people cancel memberships completely and hopefully don't cancel like their exercise routine of like, um, are you going to go somewhere different? Are you going to do, is everybody going to move to more at home exercise? You're going to go to more of a, a boutique or a personal trainer. Like it's just, it's, I mean, it's such a crazy time for everything, but I just am so curious to see what happens with people in fitness. Cause I know how much it's changed me. Like I used to go to the gym 
seven days a week. And I mean, I'm in a little bit different case because I've been dealing with an injury and stuff. But like that's for me, like I love doing that because the gym was such a like I can turn my brain off here. This is like a comfort zone. This is me time. But if you're worried about, and I already hated in a pre-COVID world that somebody would, out of all the empty machines, you'd come stand on the one next to me, like get away from me. And so yeah. <laughs> personal preference of like, there are yeah. 15 ellipticals. Why did you have to choose the one next to me? And in a COVID world, like, I think that would just like, it would ruin my workout. I just like could yeah. not be able to focus. And I feel like I'm not alone feeling that. And I just, I don't know. I'm just so... T- curious to see what happens because I'm just really hoping it doesn't skid so many people off of their their goals and their exercise because of just the world we live in now right well and I think it's so important for people to keep doing right now for their physical and mental health so yeah. if that's something people drop I just feel like it's going to be one more thing that puts people in a bad place so totally I don't know, but it is like at Planet Fitness, they're doing every other treadmill and that's not six feet. So like me and the girl I work with, she's, she's more paranoid than I am. She like one day we were working out and it's the same way still where people, there's a million treadmills and someone will still pick the one that's like, you know, closest to you, even though there's one in between and we moved. So it just makes working out a little bit more difficult. So yeah, I don't get why people do that, man. And no, I was like, I mean, there's a million treadmills because it isn't as busy as it used to be. And they still like come right next to you. And I guess because there's one in between, they don't care, but it's, it's not, it's still not that distance. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it'll just be interesting for that, for people that feel uncomfortable, like in a box gym setting, how many people yeah. are going to change to like maybe a Cincy 360 fitness of getting a personal trainer where it is a really small, like there's never more than like I, maximum, maybe 10 people in that place at a time. Right. Or just like, whatever, I'm going to uh, go to at home workouts or at least try at home workouts for a while and then make a decision from there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting place. Like it's, I, I'm wondering how like places like Planet Fitness, I mean, they obviously got to be like, oh God, what's, what's going on here of, and maybe more people are picking up gym memberships, but I don't know. I don't really get the vibe that more yeah, people are most, joining the gym. Most of my clients have like canceled their like memberships to gyms like Planet Fitness and Crunch. So yeah, I'd be curious to see out of maybe I should do a poll of all the the gym owners I know. I mean, I don't know any big box gym owners or franchise owners like that, but like of how many people are obtaining gym memberships this year? Like how many people during this are like, oh no, I want a gym membership. Um, Or if anybody's listening to me like right now and like has done that, I'm just just curious. Like if somebody is like, oh my God, everybody's getting sick. I need to worry about my health. Like I'm going to go get a gym membership. I'm just like, I don't know. I just like, I'm curious about how everybody is behaving in this because it feels like we've all been in a snow globe that's been shooken up and we're all kind of like <laughs> ah, figuring everything out. And we're all kind of landing in different places. Yeah. Cause all, we're all processing it differently. So mm-hmm. yeah. Or some people are just like coming out of this crush in the game and other people are getting crushed. I saw an Instagram post yesterday of um a girl that said oh god was it one month or was it one or two months that she gained 30 pounds holy shit like over the past like month or two and I'm like oh my god and she's like I know it's like mostly like water weight and stuff like that but I'm like dang like so you know that's some people are posting their videos of like hey I'm finally crushing my my health game and other people are just kind of like you know, go spiraling into a bad place. And it's like, dang, it's just, it's crazy. Cause none of us can, pr- can predict how we're, we're going to, or even how we handled this in March versus how we're handling this in July, August, because it, I don't know, it's bonkers, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cause like, honestly, in the beginning of this, I was like, it's cool. I'm good. Like I was in an okay place. And then the longer it goes on, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm not doing so hot anymore. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's important so, for us to talk about because with like, let's try to like motivate each other and build each other up for exactly. like to admit like, hey, I'm 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 having a bad time. Of that's when you know we can have a conversation, or you go to the gym, or somebody and be like, okay, so like, 
I need somebody to pump me up today because I'm going to mm-hmm. I'm going to a bad place. So like, how do we spin this into a positive? And that's what I've been trying to do every day. Some days better than others, especially since I've been sick for the past two weeks. I feel like my mental health has been going to a bad place and I've been finding myself going to mm-hmm. a really negative place and then having to like sit it out. I've been going to like a lot of YouTube videos of just kind of like listen to positive affirmations, kind of like draw yourself. I've been using these gratitude cards um, that my friend Rachel made of just kind of like I can feel myself going to a bad place and just be like, oh, my God, I got to we got to turn this frown upside down. (laughs) Like, oh, my God. Affirmation. The affirmation thing though is huge because I have I did that a lot in the beginning of my journey and I've started doing that again just this past week. And just like having an affirmation that you repeatedly tell yourself, I think is like people underestimate how helpful that can be. Totally. So yeah. And I even I even had um all of last year these little post-it notes in my closet. And right above my underwear drawer. So I had to look at them every day. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, you know, like, you know, you, you know, you are strong, you're intelligent, like these kind of, and I would read them every morning. And I've kind of gotten out of the habit of that because my routine has changed. So right now I'm trying to build a new routine of gratitude journaling. And just even I've been really like heavily doing YouTube videos. Like I've been finding different ones. I'm trying to find one that I can stick to every morning. Like I read, listened to one this morning that was like 10 minutes long that's like daily affirmations for women. And it was just kind of like, you know, repeat after me, like I am strong, I am smart, I am resilient, um, I am powerful. Like those sorts of things of like as cheesy or crunchy as that sounds, that if you're repeating those things every day, like you're eventually gonna start believing it if you don't believe it now. And it's like, this is so such an important time to start those kinds of habits, even if you feel like, you're gaining weight or you're not exercising and everything else is kind of falling apart. Like that's a couple minutes out of your day where you can kind of try to control your mindset. Right. Yeah. And that's like when you build that habit too, it's like, I know for me, when I start doing the affirmations, like if all of a sudden in the middle of the day, I find myself really struggling, that affirmation just starts like repeating in my head. So it's like, if you build this habit of saying those things to yourself, you start hearing those things instead of the negative thoughts that you have. Totally. So how has your food and everything been? Have you got on the scale at all? Are you bouncing on the scale? Um, no, I've been like obsessively weighing myself, which is not good. Um, so I'm just kind of hanging out in the same spot, which I guess is fine. Um, I think that's great, dude. I mean, you're maintaining, that's good. Yeah. So, and I'm really like, trying right now to quit obsessing so much about the actual freaking number on the scale and go back to like, I'm doing this to love myself and care for myself. Um, because it's some, somewhere in quarantine, it quit being that. And it started becoming this obsessive, like, I think it was cause I was afraid I was going to gain weight back, but it became being obsessed with the scale and whether or not I was going to fail at this. So I've really just been trying to like, remember that I'm doing this because I deserve it and my body deserves it. So, um, so I'm sure that's helping me to maintain it right now too. Yeah. That's all. I mean, that's such a positive way to think of it too. Of I get in that trap too, of worrying about a number I'm supposed to be this size or whatever. And it's like, no, that's not my whole intentions of doing this, of doing it to feel good right. and love yourself. Like it's, and that's a, it's hard to come back to that because it's so easy to slip into obsessing over everything else. Yeah. And I mean, that's what started happening during quarantine. I've, and maybe it's so that I could focus on that instead of the craziness going on in the world. So, cause I'm real good at doing that, just like hyper focusing on one thing so that I can avoid the actual problem. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> and it's always my weight that I end up choosing to hyper focus on instead of focusing on whatever is actually important in my life. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to quit. Like, I mean, I've literally been weighing myself like at night and in the morning. And so I have to quit doing that shit too. So yeah. And that can go, that can be dangerous for your mental health. Sure is. So, (laughs) (laughs) but at least you recognize it. You know what I mean? Like, you know what it's stemming from, but man, the scale, the scale can be so freaking rough. Do you take measurements and all that? 
So Josh took a bunch of measurements when we first started. I've, we haven't taken them again. Um, and I myself haven't ever taken measurements. You should do them today so. when you go to the gym. Yeah, I might ask him because it's, because that's the thing is I focus so much on the freaking number on the scale and that's not everything. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Did he have you do the in-body machine when you first started? Yeah. Should do that again too. Cause I mean, that shows you like your water weight, your muscle mass, your fat mass. And like that might push you in the right direction of like giving you a different idea of just the number on the scale, especially if you haven't done it in what, what a freaking year. Is that how long ago you Almost did it? A year? a year. Oh my God. Think... You probably like improved in so many ways that you're not giving yourself credit for. Right. Because I mean, I think in September, it will have been a year. So, I mean, it's almost a year and we haven't done that again. So I have no freaking clue. Um, but I know like my clothes, sometimes my clothes fit differently, but my, the freaking scale isn't different. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't, I'd give a scale a break for a little bit. Yeah. It's hard though, right? It's like, it is like a drug. It's like, if I don't weigh myself, then I just assume I'm gaining weight. And that's so not the truth. Yeah. Like I've at least proven to myself that I'm capable of maintaining the weight that I'm at right now, which I think is huge for me because I've never been able to maintain something below 200 pounds. So, um, yeah. So obviously I've changed my like eating habits, but I'm just still so focused on the weight that I know I still want to lose yeah. that it's, yeah. Well, I do that too. Um, cause I'm back in the habit of weighing myself every day. Cause I feel like I can be in a place where I can do it right now, but the moment it starts getting mentally damaging, I know I have to let it go. Cause I've gone through this cycle before, but I feel like I'm trying not to obsess of exactly where I want it to be, but I kind of use it as a tool that at night, if I'm feeling like I just like, I love to just comfort eat. Like I just want to watch mm -hmm. TV and eat, especially because I've been sick for yeah. weeks now, which has just been yeah. brutal mentally. And that I've like, I just like, oh, I just want to like comfort eat. And I know I'm not hungry. Like I'll just get done. Like last night, I just got done. I ate a huge salad. I ate a huge freaking salad that I meal prepped. And I'm like, oh, I just want to sit here and I just want to eat popcorn or I just want to like, I just scrounge the house and see what I got. And I'm like, no, this is, you're not eating for this. And I'm like, but I know I'm going to weigh myself in the morning. And then I'm like, that kind of stops me. So I yeah. kind of use the scale as like, no, you're going to weigh yourself. Now, if you go ahead and cave and eat all this emotional food that I know is not to fulfill you, you just ate a damn salad. You're going to see that number on the scale in the morning and then you're going to feel like trash and you're going to be mad and you're going to be upset. I'm like, do I want to go through all that? Like, and it's like yeah. this whole conversation I have to have with myself every night, which healthy or not or painful or not, like I feel it, put, it puts me in a better place because it stops me. Because if I yeah. don't weigh myself in the morning, I'm just like, what ifs? And I will just emotionally <laughs> eat and eat because I'm watching TV and I just want to eat. Like, right. because I've instill that habit in myself which I need to break of sitting down to watch tv and relaxing also equals eating even if I'm not hungry so the scale at least makes me have that conversation um and not saying like even sometimes I'm like whatever f it like <laughs> we're, we're eating this and that's fine yeah. but at least it was that stop sign for a second so I like weighing myself every day for that because it gives me pause but the moment that I become Oh, I've gained six ounces, you piece of trash. I'm like, okay, we got to stop doing this. Freaking six ounces. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. Like, how come I'm telling myself I'm a horrible person? Like, this is the dumbest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> but like, we all do that. Like, what the hell's wrong with I know. us? <laughs> I know. It's crazy. So it's like, and you would never like look at, I don't know. Sometimes I think about other people. I'm like, I would never be like, oh my God, you gained six ounces. Right. But we do that to ourselves. Right. Like, like I, even if I gain a pound, nobody can see that on me. Like, yeah. it's just crazy. Yeah. And that's why the scale is just all water weight and your hormones and body fluctuations. So I'm like, I'm really going to let six ounces terrorize my mental health for at <laughs> least an hour if not all day like this thing's got to freaking go so I'm like if, uh -huh. yeah so if you're in a space oh my god and you're doing it night and day yeah it might be time for 
Well, yeah, because then I'm like, oh man, I must have really jacked things up yesterday because I gained six ounces. So then, so then I'm like, I get into this really unhealthy place where I'm I'm like, all right, so you're going to do more to restrict yourself today. And then I don't eat enough. And then it becomes, then I binge. So it's like a whole, cause I know for myself, like I have to keep myself full all day or else I like, that's why I just eat small like things yeah. all day. Other, because if I get too hungry, I just like, it's really easy for me to just go off the rails. So I don't know, man. Yeah. It's all mind tricks and learning uh, how you behave and your own behavior and, um, like everybody's so different, but I think that when you hear that's how other people act, you're just kind of like, oh, cool. I'm not just a psycho. <laughs> and it's not just me fleek, flipping out over six ounces, which is like how much chicken I ate on my salad. Like that's, I'm going to think that I'm an unworthy human based off uh-huh. of that. Like what the hell? Like that's where it's, but I will like, and I totally have, and I know I still will in the future. And it's just like, that's where going, you just, the, the learning process is to be like, call yourself out. I'm like, God, this is dumb. I know. <laughs> I'm like, literally, if I could just poop before I weigh myself, uh, I would yeah. lose those six ounces. I will not oh. weigh myself in the morning until I've had some coffee to make <laughs> myself poop. It's like the number one oh. reason. I'm not even kidding. I brought, ca- like, co- I went coffee free for two months. And I brought coffee back because I never was going to be gone forever because I love it. But also because I'm like... Dude, nothing makes me poop like drinking coffee. (laughs) Uh -uh. I worked at a coffee shop for a little while and me and the girl who I normally worked with, we would be like, oh, it's my poop break. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. And that's what's like a good one. If you even just like do an afternoon cup, we're like, oh, here comes poop number two. I'm so skinny. I know. I lost so much weight today. (laughs) Oh my god. Oh well on that note. <laughs> yeah, we should probably end things right here. Yeah. Well, I hope you have fun at the gym today. Let me know. Um, especially next week we'll talk about it if you do your measurements in InBody, because I'm really curious to see, especially since you haven't done it since, since September. Like I, I I know that you've just had to make improvements in that area and hopefully that gives you like a good boost. Yeah. Um, but I hope that you have a good week and we'll we'll talk later. All right. Bye, girl. See ya. For info on health coaching and more, go to amandavalentinebites.com.